and blessings family, Sister Archer Lee. As always, it is your nature to be doing amazing. So I pray that is the understanding that you develop on your own so you could strive towards that imperfect perfection that the Most High has made you to be. It's a beautiful thing. Now, that said, Polite, who I don't consider, the, calling one of ours a brother or sister, even if they're out of their minds, it depends. Like, you could have brothers and sisters who just are, you know, slathered in their own dysfunction and convinced there's no other m way of living and for those persons I hope and wish only the best I can only share but so much but I know because all of us pretty I don't know any black people especially in the unentitled snakes of America who has not just tried to exhume themselves uh, from the blowback of enslavement in which we were never slaves otherwise we would have never fought back uh, so I don't mean uh, that persons who are just imperfect I'm so imperfect are not brothers and sisters but when you reach the level of a polite who is just unrelentingly just I can't call him evil, but he's like on the edge, you know what I mean? He's done so much wrong to us that the only kernel of, you know, like, uh, I, I wouldn't, it's not forgiveness, I don't forgive him, uh, but just like where well, I'm okay, all right, at least he seems pro-black. That in and of itself is some sort of, oh, just support. Uh, for those of us who love being black, who see the might of our people generation after generation. The reason why overall, I, I mean, you know, the reason why I just out and out and lots of us reject him is because he's so destructive. He's so dysfunctional that, I mean, he, the DNA uh, his DNA was proven to be on the person of his stepdaughter. That's just horrifying. And, and, and that he was abusing her physically. That, I mean, that's just levels of horror I can't, I cannot understand. And I remember the first time I saw Polite up on social media, it was with his two wives. Dude. You got two wives and it's not enough for you? You need to get the just completely naive attention from a victim that's right in your own household, your stepdaughter? Uh, that's pitiful. And that's what I mean by the title, The Polite at the Start of the Tunnel. Because there's a lot of these folks on social media who are heavily promoted at this point in time. I'm just like, why is this guy and others like him uh, still getting any of our attention whatsoever when you've got, well, I mean, I do a beeline looking for those of black us who are about building us, not just about salacious gossip. You know, I mean, you could, that's to me, is you could be brother or sister, I'm going to love you, uh, but how's that helping us? How's that building us? Because when I look at this war that's being directed specifically at black us, I want it to be over. I want us to survive forever as beautiful black people. So I'm going to look. That's when I ran into Fukushima, and I'm like, if we don't look at this one, we are in dire trouble. And it's only gotten proven more and more uh, that I and my research have become absolutely vital to us. Now, I am I wish that weren't the case I keep saying, because I don't want people to think that I'm getting all arrogant, and because I'm always defending myself against, you know, just thinking I'm the be-all and end-all. No, I'm just one of us, all right? But 
when I look at these people that are promoted and, and who just get all this attention, I'm like, really? Why? Because when I saw the first two wives, I was like, mm. but then I also, at the beginning of my old channel, I had accidentally, I didn't know that it was incorrect. Uh, manners on social media to just, you know, upload somebody else's video, but I had uploaded Polite engaging in a debate against, I can't remember what the name of the, the homosexual dude with the little poodle, but they were trying to, some of them, I tried less and less to mention names, but someone who still gets lots of attention, even my dear blood cousin was like, have you heard of this one? Um, was promoting this dude as like the Malcolm X of like the gay world and he was just like oh you're so phenomenal but polite just broke it down why homosexuality you ain't you'll never be a leader of black us and so I was like wow this is fantastic and so I shared it and it's one of the shares that wound up uh, attracting people to my channel, but it wasn't my share. There were other things I did that definitely got people, such as I'm the only one talking about the freaking dead ocean. But I, I was like, wow, he's really giving it to him. And, and I just thought it was wonderful. That's how I learned that certain persons, ye, like a broken clock, is right two times a day. I'm talking about analog, not digital, okay? Um, and so you look at this guy and on the surface, when you get to the tunnel, the vacuum uh, that he represents, it looks good, doesn't it? I didn't think the two wives look good because I am like so many of us where I'm going to really ponder. What's the meaning? I'm so tired of the devil and his hell. I'm going to ponder everything just to get out of here, okay? And so when I saw the two wives, I'm just like, mm, nah, that doesn't seem right. And then he also was making very light of uh, understanding the devil using that term. He was deriding those who do do up close examination of the meaning of that word, of the actions that embody that word. But, you know, like with all black people, I'm going to give you plenty of room, plenty of room, and either you are going to be amazing, or I don't want to say because they swear that there's a whole bunch of black folks out here who are contemplating suicide because them stealing the rainbow has proven to be enough for them. That is not your nature. And I highly doubt that those numbers are accurate. But anyway, I looked at the way he was examining, you know, the way that the devil is defined, and he was just putting it down as if it was all spooky, you know, and no, it's not. It is what they are, okay? Um, that doesn't mean that you go out and you hurt them, but the actions are what prove. The history is what proves. So it was very strange to me that he would go over the history. And I remember the whole scene where the Jewish guy, rabbi, dropped down on his knees because Polite won a debate. But, I mean, that's so easy to win. That's why they got to keep us from even mentioning their existence. But at the same time, when I was like, I don't need no rabbis dropping down to their knees uh, trying to say, oh, you're the... I was like, that all is just to appeal to ego. And when you are a person driven uh, by your ego, so you think it's all about you, you are a person given to impulsive titillation uh, or more prone. I don't want to say everybody who is like that is going to be, you know, committing pedophilia or, become, or be a pedophile, uh, but it's all the same tunnel where you got swirling and it. it's a, it's a whirlpool going down, where you're making accommodations, you're overlooking all kinds of egregious behaviors, sinister, just disastrous dysfunction for everybody, for your whole community. So you got this dude who, and so many of them, who were just at the, the, the top of our respect, our honor, 
in terms of, wow, I hope this dude is real. And then they just crash and burn. I still, I'll never forgive him for having a nerve to call our children our niglets. I was like, what? Uh, but by then I was, I was off the boat and I, I, the scales fell from my eyes where I was just like, okay, there's bunches of people up here that the devil is going to promote. It's going to put out there, and very, very, they are insidiously clever in the way that they have studied human psyche so that they take advantage, they come on the straight path, they take advantage of just our human nature to want to believe the best in each other. Even we want to believe, there's people I want to be the best in white folks, all right? I'm not saying it. The individuals to me do not make the rule. If they're individual good white people, I'm going to treat every single white person I meet with respect, with politeness, with the best of hopes and intentions. But I don't expect much. And then they go ahead and they prove that my expectations were correct. But anytime, each and every single one individual, I could go, wow, you're an exception to my rule about what your nature is. That doesn't change the rules, okay, or the actions. So... The same, you know, I'm more, far more hopeful uh, for black us. Uh, but when you see these people who are just like propelled up into the rafters, you gotta look really intricately uh, for their deviations from a future for our people that goes on forever. It, it stops. Man, I'm sorry. You're on the wrong side. If you are not supporting and protecting our children unto 700 generations, you're not our friend. You're not our friend. I don't care if you go and you get a check cut from the CIA or not. You should. Because that is the only measure that's going to make it out of this hell. So when you see this dude just spiraling into a free fall, that's because he was damaged to begin with. Right? All right. Go to 25,000 years. Like, matter of fact, let me move over here, okay? And I could do something fancy. Go to... 20, oh, no, like that, okay, 25,000yearcycle.org, where you are going to find products that are there to heal you, without a doubt, and guidance on how to do that, so it's for real, not for fake, so it can last forever, all right, and you're going to find this book, you need this book, because the radiation ain't going away. You can't wish it away. You can't will it away. And it's building up in our bodies. They're allowing every food grown in Fukushima into the United States. And since they hate us so daggone much, where you think they sending it to the most? About you and me. All right? And then also, I got these books too. All right? So, yeah, I, I don't have the, I think he's got like, I don't know what, he's written 500 books or something like that, polite. Uh, but still, he ain't talking about what I'm talking about, all right? And if you are not talking about this, uh, then we are not helping those seven future generations. Woo, that's the fact. I love your family. Straight, black, family, pride, and we are good forever. Peace and blessings.